Hi, my name is Tomil Zvulun, and I'm the stage director for the new production of Lucia here at the Atlanta Opera. We're opening on uh, Saturday, November 12th. I'm very, very excited about where we are with this uh, production so far. This is a very unique situation because it's a combination between two productions of Lucia that I've done this past year. The first one in Cleveland was uh, a concept of uh, a godfather, Lucia, influenced by the mafia world, uh, film noir, uh, it was uh, set in um, the 20th century, in the 30s, 20s. And it worked very, very well with the, uh, with the story, I believe. Uh, later on, when we got to uh, Seattle, we did a completely different new, new production there, and we took it into the early Victorian period. Those costumes uh, and the uh, style of the period, uh, hoop skirts, corsets, uh, ideas that are very repressing. What was uh, really interesting in the Cleveland production for me was the nature of the set that was very cinematic. Uh, there is no, there's never a pause in, in the show that we're doing. Uh, every scene goes into the next one uh, and uh, we don't have time to recoup from all the, the tragedy that unfolds in front of our eyes and I think that that's a key to Lucia and there's something about those projections that th both throw us into different worlds uh, and also allow us to get into Lucia's mind that is very powerful to me. Uh, so that was what we did in Cleveland. What we took from Seattle was the beautiful costume that Deb Trout designed. Uh, lavish, colorful, uh, gorgeous period costumes that are very appropriate in terms of uh, the Victorian times to our story of Lucia. And the combination of those two, the costumes and the, uh, the set, I think is going to make a different new take uh, that is unique to Atlanta. Uh, we have a, a completely different cast than I had before. Uh, we have uh, American soprano Georgia Jarman singing her first Lucia, and we're very excited about that. Georgia is a, an exceptional artist who's been singing all over the United States. I've known Georgia for the past 10 years. She's an old friend. Georgia is a very, uh, very talented singer actress. And I think that her Lucia vocally is very, very unusual. Uh, she has a very powerful voice. And uh, it's, it's really thrilling to uh, encounter somebody who has the lower register and the power in the voice that she has, along with those exciting high notes that we expect. She's also a really special actress. Uh, she really needs to understand everything that she's doing, and it takes us time to come to what makes sense to her and what she is willing to do. And then when she's going there, it's absolutely unstoppable and very exciting. In the uh, role of Edgardo, we have Jonathan Boyd, which uh, is the first time that I'm working with. He's a very exciting young American tenor. Uh, and I think that the chemistry between him and Georgia is one thing that will make this production work. Because you never see Edgardo and Lucia more than for five minutes at the beginning of the show. And then you have to believe that they love each other so much that they would uh, go through the tragedy that they go through. And I think the chemistry is a key. Uh, in the role of Enrico, we have uh, American baritone Stephen Powell, who I know uh, from New York City Opera. Uh, we were both working on a production of Falstaff a couple of years ago, and I'm so excited to work with him on this. It's, I think it's his second Enrico. Uh, and Stephen is a very powerful performer. Uh, he's a very strong person uh, and personality with a very strong voice. And um, I think, again, the chemistry between him and Georgia, they worked on numerous show, shows before, is something that is very palpable and obvious. And that's something that will make this show work. Also in this production, I'm lucky to work with people that I've worked with before. Uh, Arthur Woodley, who uh, has sung the original production in Seattle, is singing the role of Raimondo. I'm very excited to see him again. He's a fantastic uh, bass baritone. And, um, uh, in the role of Arturo, uh, the tenor who's uh, marrying Lucia. Uh, we have uh, the tenor Tim Colvert, who sang it in Cleveland. Another artist that I'm very happy to see again here in Atlanta is Susan Nicely, who I worked with uh, before on The Flying Dutchman. A very special and uh, seasoned uh, artist who is a wonderful addition to this production. This is the third production of, of Lucia that I'm directing. And I have a very clear idea of what I want to do with the show but 
for me, what is so exciting about remounting a show and doing it again is that I have new people. And um, they are completely different people than the last time I've done it. And the chemistry between them is completely different. And that's the most exciting thing for a director. I don't like to come with a very, very clear idea of every move that I want them to do. Uh, because if it doesn't make sense to them, or if it's not going to uh, be organic for them, it's not going to work on stage.